Governor Pritzker, your incompetent and arrogant leadership is killing people. You know, my view is that Darren Bailey is uh, out of touch with the entire state of Illinois. Governor Pritzker and Mayor Lightfoot seem perfectly fine on, on all of this rampant crime. The, the fact is that, that Darren Bailey has proven that he would be dangerous for our kids, mm -hmm. for parents, for communities, if he were put in charge of public education. One day after facing off in their second and final debate right here at WGN, Governor J.B. Pritzker and Darren Bailey are hitting the road. The governor's race is entering its final weeks now. And WGN political reporter Taman Bradley is joining us now with more. Taman. Ray and Micah with just 19 days left in the campaign. Darn near every commercial on TV is a political ad. Phones are buzzing with robocalls and mailboxes are stuffed with literature. It's crunch time for the campaigns. Darren Bailey is a threat to democracy. He shouldn't be let anywhere near the governor's office. Chicago is the nightmare called Pritzkerville, and it's still th two weeks from Halloween. With the debates now in the rearview mirror, the campaigns of Darren Bailey and J.B. Pritzker are increasing their focus on voter turnout. Today in Springfield, Republican Bailey launched a four-day 16-stop bus tour across Illinois. We're less than three weeks away from firing J.B. Pritzker and it's getting better every day. The momentum is growing. Since securing the GOP nomination in late June, Bailey has struggled to raise money. His financial disadvantage is staggering. During the third quarter, Bailey spent $1.6 million compared to $38 million spent by Pritzker. Overnight, the downstate farmer turned lawmaker got a boost, a $1 million check from Republican mega donor Dick Uline. This race is about jobs. This race is about crime. And this race, it's about your family. Darren Bailey is all hat and no cattle. Polls show Pritzker holding a commanding lead over Bailey, but the incumbent says he's not taking his foot off the gas pedal. I don't take anything for granted. We've got a field operation that's working all across the state. Over the next week, the Pritzker campaign says the candidate will try to lift up Democrats down the ballot, making various stops throughout Illinois. Per the Illinois Board of Election, as of the middle of the day, 249,797 Illinoisans have already voted. Mike and Ray. Thank you, Taman. And developing this.